Hello, this is Professor TK the Chemist and we're back with another video. This time we're going to deal with significant digits when you're talking about adding and subtracting. Let's get into it. Now, before we actually get into it, I would like for you guys to not forget to share, comment, like, and subscribe to my YouTube channel so that we can continue to grow and give you all all the content that you need in order to be successful in your chemistry classes, okay? Now that we've got that all out of, out of the way, let's get into this content. When it comes to adding and subtracting with significant digits, there are a couple of rules that you need to remember. A lot of students get this mixed up, so I need to break it down to the lowest, lowest particle that you can understand. Go ahead and grab your pen, your papers, and your notebooks so we can go ahead and show you how to do these problems. The rule states that you must limit your answer to the least amount of digits that are after the decimal place. So if there isn't a decimal place, you would say that there are zero digits after it and that would be your least amount. So let me break down this one example right here on your screen. You have 152 milliliters plus 3.41 milliliters plus 2.7 milliliters. Now when you add those numbers up, the traditional way with your calculator, you get 158.11. But the rule says you're going to go with the least amount of digits that come after the decimal place. So in this first digit here that I'm going to highlight in yellow, there aren't any numbers after the decimal. In 3.41, there are two numbers after the decimal. And in 2.7, there is one digit after the decimal. So in this particular case, the final answer would not have any numbers after the decimal place, and your number would just be 158 milliliters. That's it. Now I know you're probably thinking, that's too good to be true. So what do I have to do to make sure that that is going to be the end result? We're going to do another problem. <laughs> okay, here we go. In this example here, you've got 55.46. So you've got two numbers after the decimal in this first digit. You've got one number after the decimal in this second digit. Your calculator is going to give you 26.56. But you must remember the rules. It says to go with the least amount of digits after the decimal. So if I write out 26.56, I know that I have one significant digit that should be after the decimal. This six right here tells this five to go up to a six. Remember the rules for, for rounding. If you don't remember that, go back to my video and I will post it up here so you all can see it to know where to go to um, to figure out the rules for rounding off. Because that six is five or greater, the number that comes before it must also increase. So your final answer becomes 26.6 grams. Now y'all know Professor TK the Chemist isn't going to leave you behind. I'm gonna give you some more examples that you can do. I'm gonna pause the screen, or actually you pause the screen, work the problems out in your notebook, and then check the answer. Here we go. So we're going to practice these problems here in part B of the screen, but I'm going to scroll down so that you all can get to the ones that are the most important here. And they are for adding and subtracting. I want you all to actually focus on problem numbers or pro yeah, problem numbers three, four, six, and eight okay practice those and then we're going to come back and look at the answers okay so again i'm going to pause the screen so you all can see it all right here are the answers to these problems Now, while the answers are up for the other problems that we have not gone over yet, pause the video, come back to it, and guess what? I'm going to show you in a separate part of the, pro of the video another example of how to do multiplication and division. Okay? Have a good one.